Hello dude, it's Axel here. Welcome to Axel is an Idiot again. Not because of the subject of this video, but because I just did a recording of it and I had been messing with some OBS stuff before, turned off mic audio and whatnot. Guess what I forgot to turn back on for that take. So we're gonna do this again correctly. Welcome to another Linuxy video. This is um, kind of a follow-up to the why I like gnome video from almost a year ago. Um, I want to address some, well I say some, it actually turned out to only be one comment, but a fair number of dislikes, which I will assume had similar reasons for disliking. So, like the main part, in my opinion, of why I was saying I liked gnome was largely because of the activities overview. And let me switch us over to my screen cap here. One of the things that one comment said was like, this is also available in the cinnamon, dude. So I kind of touched upon this in the, I think it was either the rambling on Solus again video or the one before that, but um, they don't work the same. They do not work the same. Gnome's activities overview is there are similar things in other desktop environments but it does not work the same in those other desktop environments especially cinnamon so with gnome with the activities overview you press super key or the windows key or the meta key there's like several different names for it i'm going to call it the super key you just press that one key you can see all the windows you have on the current screen uh, if you have a second monitor, you can see them all on that one. You scroll over, you have your workspaces. They are dynamically created. You can create more as you need. I can drag this wherever. Oh, look at that. I have another one. I can drag it up here. I can put it in and make another one between those two. I can drag it back right here. All works out very nicely. With other desktop environments, we're going to start with the cinnamon example. I'm going to show you footage cut in like right about here of uh, similar functionality on cinnamon as uh, senior Martinez there would like to or senior that guy Martinez there would like to say it's also available on cinnamon it does not work the same in this footage you should be seeing the first thing that I show is the window spread and then there's also a separate workspace overview. The window spread, you can see all of the windows that you have open. You can't do anything with them except for switch to them. That's it. In the separate workspace overview, you get an overview of all your workspaces. And yes, you can also see all the windows and whatnot. And you can drive them around from that. But, you know, it's still a separate functionality and it's it's in my opinion it's not really done as nicely as gnome because with gnome you get like you get a mini map of all your workspaces essentially there's that's pro i know that's probably not what they'd call it but that's what i'm calling it because that's essentially what it is you can see them like a small preview of them and then you can also scroll between them as you want to whereas with other desktops that have a similar function to let you drag your windows between the workspaces on an overview thing you're kind of just seeing the overview and you can't really see the windows spread out as um nicely as you can with gnome you also don't have quick and easy access to your favorited applications from that same overview so yeah there's similar things with other desktops but they do not work how the GNOME Activities Overview does. Not quite. It is different. So, you know, I'm not gonna, so again, like, I'm not denying that there are similar functions with other desktops, but it does not work the same. That is the thing I wanna make clear. It does not work the same. So, anyway, that's how it is with Cinnamon. And um, KDE actually has it very similar to how Cinnamon does it. There's the window spread, and then separately, there's the workspace overview, which technically you could see the, works the, the workspace overview as being like, oh, well, you can see all your windows open that way. But again, 
I, I, I like how Gnome does it better because you have a smaller preview of the workspaces off to the side, whereas you get the main view of the windows on the active workspace right in front of you, all nice and big and easy to see. So it is similar with KDE. It is similar with KDE. Another thing though, with other desktops that do a similar thing is um, usually with full screen applications, those don't work too well when you try to drag said full screen applications to either a different monitor, different workspace or whatever, doesn't usually work as well in those. With GNOME, it always works for me. Now, um, I will also say with elementary, that does it a little bit better on the Pantheon desktop because like, for one thing, default keys to access the window spread or the workspace switcher or whatever you want to call it. With, uh, with GNOME, again, you just hit the super key. You can also use top left hot corner and you can also do super S for some reason, even though it does the exact same thing as just the super key. I don't know why super S is an option there, but it is, so whatever. With elementary, super S for the workspace overview and then Super W for just the window spread. Which, with elementary, it's kind of weird, actually, because, like, the window spread is extremely redundant with the workspace overview, because when you do the workspace overview, you get the window spread, plus you can see your workspaces on the bottom, kind of, in icon form, not a preview like you get with GNOME. So I don't know why they have the separate window spread there, because the workspace switcher just does the same thing, but with more functionality to it. So... Either way, Pantheon does it kind of nicely, still not quite as nicely as GNOME. Cinnamon, the default shortcut for the window spread, control alt down. For the workspace overview, control alt up. That's a little odd. With KDE, I, I don't fully remember, but I think it's like control, control F9 or something and like control F 10 one of the F keys 8 through 11 one of those ones is like that's for when one of those is for window spread one of those is for window spread of all of your workspaces and then you also get workspace overview with another one I think actually it's F 9 and F 10 for the window spread and then the windows that are on all workspaces and then F 11 for the workspace overview point being two separate functions, whereas with GNOME, it's all rolled into one thing at the press of a single key. So, as usual, you guys are, feel, you guys are more than welcome to debate my reasonings in the comments below. I look forward to seeing what other people's opinions are on the GNOME workspace overview in comparison to other desktops with similar things. Now, I did only compare it to Pantheon, Cinnamon, and KDE, as those are the three desktops that I am familiar with that have the similar, like w the window spread and workspace stuff. Those are the three that I'm aware of that do it. I don't know what others do. Well, okay, I guess aside from Unity, but that was also kind of similar to how Cinnamon and Plasma do it, kind of, but I think that the shortcut made more sense like it does with elementary i don't remember i haven't touched unity in a while but my point is with gnome super simple and all in one that is why i like the workspace overview compared to other desktops that do similar stuff so anyway that's it for this one, dudes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.